What is going on, everybody? Tamagotchi here, and today we're going to be checking out Cresselia and Walrein in the Open Great League. Walrein just recently got a buff with the Icicle Spirit doing 5 more damage, and Cresselia got a secret buff due to all the ground and water type buffs. Grass Knight is going to be hitting double super effective damage, and with all the Medi Champs you are seeing, Cresselia absolutely walls it and can hit for super effective damage with the Moon Blast. To round out the team, I decided to use Shadow Charizard because it is my favorite Pokemon, so let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite pokemon and why you choose to run it so let's hop into these battles here charizard into trevenant an absolutely amazing lead here they're gonna swap into the wish cash and i'm gonna count to five charge up some energy and swap into my cresselia i did this because cresselia has a grass knot which is obviously going to one shot this wish cash and we can take mud palm for days that's the first mud bomb and we can take the second one no problem what i'm gonna do is build up to the back-to-back -back grass knots third mud bomb gonna be coming in here on the cmp tie which is fine with me because if they want to no shield this i'm just gonna absolutely destroy them here so the first grass not gonna be coming in is this going to get the shield yes it does that is quite fine i'm gonna do one cycle cut then throw the next grass knot if this wants to get the shield they are down two shields and now charizard is gonna have an absolute heyday with both shields up so next mud bomb coming through we survived that and now we're gonna be able to get to one more grass knot this grass knot is definitely gonna be saying left right good night to that wits cash trevenant if it wants to come back in it gets very little farm and now we can come in with the shadow charizard we almost have a blast burn but they decide to come in with a freaking minum what is this thing i am seeing on my screen right now grass knot not enough to one shot the wall rain which is quite fine because now this earthquake is going to be definitely enough to knock out the pikachu lookalike left right good night minum trevenant gets very little farm doesn't matter anyways we got the blast burn to go on the trevenant this is gonna do massive damage See you later, tree, left, right, good, night, and that's going to be a good game. Well played to my opponent there. Hopping into the next match here. A little bit of a tricky lead with Deoxys coming in. It has access to Rock Slide and Thunderbolt, depending on which moveset you like to run. Usually, typically in the Great League, they like to run Thunderbolt, but this one is actually running Rock Slide, which is a very bad matchup for me because they get to those Rock Slides a little bit faster than they do the Thunderbolts. First blast burn gets shielded. I'm going straight for the second one here. No more baiting. Let's see if they want to shield this. If they don't, this Deoxys is going down. Left, right, good night, Deoxys. In comes a wall rain. Out comes a Cresselia. And they swap into the Altaria. And this team is core broken by Cresselia. Oh my goodness. Moonblast going to be coming in. That gets shielded. And we get the attack fall to add insult to injury. We can no shield this Moonblast or Sky Attack. It's going to not do a lot of damage and we're just gonna build up energy but the opponent decides the top left ggs to my opponent there Cresselia coming in hot hopping into the next match another tricky lead here alolan sand slash and a charizard they're gonna outpace the ice punches so i'm gonna throw and catch the ice punch hopefully on the wall rain which we do a lot of energy is wasted and out comes a toxic croak here i'm gonna throw the icicle spear as soon as i get it i don't think i would have made it to the earthquake and i wanted to get some chip damage off here and they're not gonna be able to farm down before i get to my next icicle spear so that is forcing them to throw which is quite fine with me because now i can come in with my shadow charizard I'm gonna wait the switch clock timer out a little bit and get a nice little farm down for when that alolan sand slash wants to come in I am loaded with energy here, so I am gonna call I am gonna throw a bait at my opponent, seeing if they wanna shield this or not. If they wanna shield, then that's great. If they don't, oh my gosh, the cojones on this trainer. No shielding that dragon claw. Quite unfortunate on my part. I'm gonna throw the next dragon claw that does get the shield, and I'm gonna hop into Cresselia. Cresselia can take these ice punches a lot better than the Shadow Charizard can. That's why I choose to do this. Even though we're all throwing resisted damage, I was energy dry and they would have outpaced me tenfold to my blast burn. And they also had a shield up and going. So Moonblast going to be coming in, going to be doing some nice damage, but it is resisted. So it's not enough to KO. But remember, we're putting this thing very low and out comes a Trevenant. I don't know why they did not swap into that Trevenant earlier. Doesn't matter. We're going to take full advantage of this. And now I'm hoping Charizard up two shields is going to take this game here. All we have to do is get to the Dragon claw to knock this thing out i am gonna shield up this seed bomb that would do so much damage 
and now we can get to this dragon claw one more wing attack would have KO'd which maybe I should have done but doesn't matter we get the last shield and I don't think I'm gonna make it to the next dragon claw doesn't matter we wing attack down the Alolan sand slash and that is a very close great game by my opponent there then hopping into the next match an amazing lead finally for us shadow charizard into registeel they swap into a noctowl and unfortunately i did not swap soon enough so i'm going to shield up this guy attack as it would do massive damage i'm going to bank my energy and swap into wall rain here now wall rain does have a great matchup but up two shields noctowl can flip this matchup here shadow ball going to be coming in that does massive damage and i'm assuming since they did throw the shadow ball they're not going to be willing to shield this ice school spear so left right good night knocked out and now we have switch advantage and we have energy here to throw at this registeel going to be able to outpace tenfold to this earthquake here and earthquake is going to be doing massive damage onto this registeel look at how much damage that does not enough to one shot so that does make me a little bit concerned because i'm not going to be able to wing attack down with charizard i am going to have to expend some energy focus blast comes in takes out the wall rain they did over farm slightly so now i'm going to come in with charizard i'm going to throw a couple wing attacks here and then i'm going to go for the blast burn dragon claw would not enough been, been enough to ko so blast burn it is oh my gosh they end up shielding that and now i'm going to go for the dragon claw hoping that they miscounted and they thought i'm at the back to back but we get that second shield and it's a simultaneous swap into Cresselia and Pelipper. I'm going to go for the Moonblast. It's going to take two moves to KO anyways. And I'm going to be fishing for that attack fall. We get the, we don't get the attack fall. Just kidding. But um, now we can just make it to the Grass Knot. And Grass Knot is going to be enough to KO this Pelipper. I don't think a Hurricane would have KO'd from this range anyways. So Weather Ball not going to be enough to KO us and even put us in the red and we're going to be able to make it to this grass knot which is going to be saying left right good night to that pelipper and all we have to do is make it to a grass knot to finish off the registeel but my opponent top lefts and that's a good game well played to my opponent there so hopping into the final matchup of the video here Cresselia into charizard another great lead only hitting us for resisted charge moves here either moonblast or grass knot you won't see a lot of cresselia's running future site here in the great league just because you want the coverage with grass knot and moonblast because you're going to see so many many champs so i'm going to build up a boatload of energy here i'm going to throw the blast burn and this is not enough to one shot look at how tanky cresselia is but i'm going to throw one wing attack and throw the dragon claw on the cmp tie so that is going to be enough to finally take out that cresselia in comes an altaria i kind of make a mistake here and throw my dragon claw but I was a little bit worried here. Doesn't really matter. I come in with my Cresselia and they come in with the Shadow Machamp. And that is going to be a good game. Well played to my opponent. And a beautiful 5-0 to end this set here. This team was so strong. Very bulky in the back. And Shadow Charizard hits like a truck. Might be a little bit troublesome to deal with a Galarian Stunfisk. But you can deal with it. Blast Burns and Earthquakes are going to be able to hit it for super effective damage. And have the potential to one shot it if you get it low enough and then Cresselia walls off many champs so thank you all so very much for watching if you guys are liking the content please hit that like button comment if you want to see anything in the future and wait you see that video down there yeah click on that one because it's going to be a good one and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it really helps out the channel and i will see everybody in the next video